ಸಾಯಿಸ್ ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ನೋಡೋದು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಯು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೈ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ನೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಡೀಪ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಥೀಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಲಕ್ಚುರಿ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ ಅ ಗಾನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ದ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೆ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಫನ್ ಏ ಲುಕ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಯು ಸಾಯಿ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿ ನೋಡು ವೈ ಸಾಯಿ 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 ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ವೋ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ದೆ ನೋ ಓ ಇಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಲವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದೈ ಟರ್ಮ್ but deep down they have not been conscious of killing that borrowed knowledge <laughs> what comes out from the mouth is sarcasm as joke as bully as pulling the leg all those things the 55th story from the zen bones zen flesh zen bones written by paul trips the tea master and the assassin Taiko, a warrior who lived in Japan before the Tokugawa era, studied Cha no Yu, tea etiquette with Sen no Riku, a teacher of that aesthetical expression of calmness and contentment. Uh, in almost all the martial artists, especially the Japanese ones, they, they tell, no music, no karate. <laughs> But these two should be balanced yes the yin and yang positive and negative otherwise it will be, become destructive it can be the other way also no karate no music also yes even for the music children for the dance children martial arts is the power you can call it as a male and the dance is female only if these two is there but most of the people have taught in india especially the girls for singing and dancing and the boys they send them for wrestling or gymnastics but i am thinking this has created the damage of that culture in in the hands the male part the 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 boys got disconnected from the house and the girls got disconnected from the external world they were thinking maybe that could connect them back yes they connected but it was a painful uh, build up without much of creativity hence the warrior who lived in japan studied warrior mm. tea ceremony which teaches them the etiquette and the culture how to make how to cook tea ceremony means how to cook tea ceremony means how to serve tea ceremony means how to decorate that area yes the place is very very important where you sit to eat then you feel the taste the digestion yes and after the tea is made the tea master you watch how he is making that gives you the first observation and once the tea is given you have to know how to take it in the style and then you have to sip it and everyone sip you must tell the tea powder came from which part of japan and whether it was cooked exactly 
to the taste or the taste is different. They become so conscious in our time. We just eat it and maximum say, Kara ila upila. Only, there, uh, only two, uh, two words everybody knows. No salt. No masala. <laughs> Kara ila upila. They do not know whether it is the taste of that particular vegetable. Once you know it, every question which comes into you, you put it in your mouth. Everyone question before the teacher talks, ask. You are so conscious how the teacher is cooking that question, how the employer is cooking that company, how the corporator, the MLA, MPs, ministers, chief ministers, prime ministers is cooking that tea. And when they start serving, you will not take it just like that. You will just sip it, chew it, and you know whether that has got a deep feeling, connecting link between you and the teacher, you and the materials what you're eating. Karela <laughs> upila. No, 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 it's not the karela upila. Hence, the warrior and the tea ceremony was very, very important. It means the warrior and the culture. Whatever you study, never leave your culture, your foundation, your father and mother, your family, the joint family and the family tree. Tycho's attendant warrior Kato interpreted his superior's enthusiasm for tea etiquette as negligence of state affairs, so he decided to kill Senno Rikyo. He pretended to make a social call upon the tea master and was invited to drink tea. So the warrior who was practicing only the martial arts and not the culture turns out to be poisonous, turns out to be one-way traffic. That's what now they say. The warrior got so angry that he wanted to kill the master because he was going and practicing the etiquette and not taking care of state affairs. State affairs, if the political leaders take, the, take care of state affairs without culture, that political leader, that employer, that police officer, that teacher, they become, that master becomes dangerous if they don't connect back to the culture. Hence, in, in most of the Zen monasteries, all the prime ministers, ministers, presidents of companies, Without telling, they'll go to the monastery and in the mo every monastery, the slip will be there. Today's work where it is available. They'll take the broom, they clean up the whole uh, monastery, stay there for one day, two days, three days, clean up the toilets, cook food, whatever they wanted. And by doing that, they become real karma yogis. They melted with the monastery. Melted monastery means melted with the culture, with the samskriti. And when they go back, they go back rejuvenated. No discussions. If at all before leaving, they can go and meet the monastery head. Can you believe a chief minister, a minister, a corporate MP walking into Rakumji Ashrama? Or to my school, Shiragam school for blind and running up to the toilet and cleaning. They will point a finger to me, the toilet is dirty. That area is dirty. This is not correct. And I used to tell them, if that is not correct, if this is dirty, then why don't you come and clean up? Why don't you update it up? Is this not your children? Is this not your school? But I've been telling that for the last 39 years in Bangalore city, but nothing has changed. <laughs> Here when they come, I put them garlands and take care of them. And, <laughs> and when that happens, they are getting destroyed. So people must come over here to make sure that they immediately take the broom. Yes. I learned that the moment we go for a summer camp, we take the broom and we clean up the whole Chiba, uh, it is in Chiba prefecture, the whole beach, dirt, 
what the uh, sea water brings in, we clean up the whole area. <laughs> if it is winter came in Mount Minsumini Yama, I found we have to carry the spade and remove all the ice, the snow before we practice this. So when I go to Arkavadi school, I slowly stop the car, run from behind. I don't enter from the front gate, I run from behind and I looked at the dishwashing area, I clean up all the vessels. After that they all go, oh you are already here, I started cleaning. <laughs> so the next time they make sure that they don't leave the vessels there. If everybody does it, yes. There was a hugging saint called Mada Amarda Mai. I have, I have heard that wherever she goes, she first takes the broom, she cleans up, then only goes inside. Yes. When she was in Canada also, after all the disciples entered into the bus, they were waiting for her and she was not to be seen. Then the disciples went up to see. She was going to room to room wherever the disciples stayed. And she was cleaning and putting all the beds and pillows back to position before she could enter. Can you believe? There are saints here. Yes. If the whole country does it, it is very beautiful. The master who was well skilled in his art saw at a glance the warrior's intention. So invited Cato to leave his sword outside before entering the room for the ceremony, explaining that Chano Yu represents peacefulness itself. Um, yes. Moment the master understood is coming with a so he doesn't like me practicing my culture perfecting because I should be an example. You be the change for the change you asked for. Mahatma Gandhi said, so I should be an example. I should first go to areas. Councillors and MLS MPs should go to areas. Not like Pradeep Ishwar. Pradeep Ishwar in Chik Chikbalapur is acting a little mad. Shouting, screaming, but I have not seen him taking the broom and cleaning and all. <laughs> shouting at all the officers. No, no. That, that is why what has been done by many other MLAs, MPs and councillors. Going to that area, as you get down, clean up. Swami Chitananda, Swamiji of, uh, of um, Shivananda Ashram, one of the top ranking after Shivananda Swamiji. <laughs> He came to our ashram where I was having a yoga teacher's training course. As Chidananda Swamiji's car came, everybody was standing in a huge big group. The car stopped right in front of Vishnu Devanandji Maharaj's place. As the car opened, I saw Chidananda Swamiji directly from the seat went down and touched Vishnu Devananda Maharaj directly, fell down on his feet. You, you know the difference between Chidananda Swamiji and Vishnu Devananda Maharaj is like father and son. Chidananda Swamiji is a great, huge, big senior in that category, so like a father. But when the child runs an ashram, can you believe? He told the driver to stop right in front of Vishnu and then. And, the, and we were all waiting and we next moment we saw only crying, shouting, going on and we couldn't see where is Siddhananda Swamiji. And then we found both of them lying flat. Vishnu Devananda Maharaj was crying louder because he couldn't believe that his father fell on his feet. They both were hugging. That was the beauty of all the um, counsellors, MLS, MPs, shouting, screaming and trying to destroy Rakum and Rakum school joining hands with the uh, gangsters, they must find out how to become more creative. Kato would not listen to this. I am a warrior, he said. I have always have my sword with me. Cha no Ryo, cha no you or no cha no you. I have my sword very well. Bring your sword in and have some tea. Concentrate sin no Ryo. The kettle was boiling on the charcoal fire. Suddenly, Senorio tipped it over, hissing steam arose, filling the room with smoke and ashes. The startled warrior ran outside. The tea master apologized. It's my mistake. Come back in and have some tea. I have your sword here, sword here covered with ashes and will clean it up and give it to you. In this predicament, the warrior realized he could not very well kill the tea master. So he gave up the idea. Yes. He entered the room with a sword. And the master knew he's coming with sword. He tipped the kettle, the smoke entered, it filled. Suddenly, 
the swordsman left the sword and ran out said the sword has got no value if the circumstances this can create power not what you practiced if you have practiced culture also then you know the sword will have creative value your art will have creative value your mastership of a political leader will have creative value mastership of an employee becomes creative value the mastership of a police officer becomes a creative value master of the beauty of the school and the companies becomes creative that is what they said and then he knew even with my sword i couldn't kill him look at him just a team kettle tipped it the smoke entered can you a big sword master suddenly becomes a no pedic kill the team master sai spurtini nodu kal kill you look i will kill you tell everybody kill your borrowed knowledge kill your dirt inside when you tell like that you also make sure when you say sai spurtini you say three fingers are pointing back that you should also kill your borrowed knowledge and as you enter the house before and from the school directly you drop your bag and rush up to clean up the house before they enter the house yes help the mummy and the daddy in the house husbands when they enter the house first rush up to clean up before you say i am tired and then together the house will make sure the internal and external outside area is also clean together we make this earth a beautiful place to stay we create a beautiful pedicured manicured land and rain water is thy name